All right, another problem. Na2CrO4, and this again is aqueous plus Hi aqueous. So this is a salt, and it's a sodium salt of cr the chromate ion, CrO4, and a strong acid. So this one, I want you guys to try it on your own. It's it's complicated for sure, but give it a shot, just like we do in class. So pause the video and take a look. Okay, now I assume you've paused the video and you've given it a shot. And if you're not doing that, again, you need the practice. Okay? You absolutely need the practice. The difficulty here is that chrome, um, the chromate ion well, this compound is soluble, so let's just list that out. Let's list the pisces or the principal species in solution. What's the charge on this? Hopefully you got this two minus. You can get that straight from the sodium ion. You don't need to have this you know, the chromate ion memorized. The formula is given. You should be able to recognize that the metal comes first, and then the rest of it is a polyatomic ion. That's what makes it an ionic compound, and you get the charge from the fact that there's two sodiums. Each sodium has a plus one charge, so you got to balance those charges. Okay, and then our other compound in solution, H plus and I minus. Again, cation with anion, and vice versa. Okay. So let's list out our reactants here. So 2Na plus aqueous plus CrO4 2 minus aqueous plus H plus aqueous plus I minus aqueous. Okay. So now we have to consider, what do we get? What's the formula for the compound that forms between sodium and iodine? Iodide. Just sodium iodide, right? Just NaI. Okay? And that's going to be a soluble compound. So we can write that down as our, one of our products. Na plus aqueous plus I minus aqueous. Now, one thing about this, when we combine H plus and Cr and the chromate CrO4 2 minus, what do we get? Well, we get H2 CrO4. What is that? It doesn't really matter what we call it, right? That's not the important thing. The important thing is that it is a weak acid. And how do we know it's a weak acid? Simple. It's not a strong acid. So we have H2CrO4 and acids. I know you're wondering this. How do we know it's aqueous? Acids are always aqueous. Let's clean this up a little bit. CrO4 aqueous. Okay, acids are just always aqueous. Just remember that. So now this isn't really this isn't balanced. So I need to go through and I need to balance it. Okay, because I have two hydrogens here, so I need two there, and the hydrogen comes with the iodide, so I need two there as well, and I have two sodiums here, so I need two sodiums on the other side, and then two iodides on the other side. So now it's balanced. Now I can go through and cross off all of my spectator ions. Let's do that. So two sodiums, that goes away. Two iodides, that goes away. And what we're left with as our net ionic equation is CrO4 2 minus aqueous plus 2H plus aqueous gives us H2CrO4 aqueous. So this is our net ionic equation.
for this problem. And what this shows is the formation of a weak acid from its conjugate base. Right? Because we already stated this is a weak acid. So a weak acid. And this, the chromate, is its conjugate base.